Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sashi channel for a short little video about an update uh, for FPV Freerider. If you follow my channel you probably know that I'm a fan of uh, this FPV simulator and uh, again uh, I got a message, an email uh, from them uh, saying uh, there's an update for FPV Freerider recharged. Uh, I hope that's visible over here, it doesn't matter. We'll switch to the actual program in a second. Now there are a, for, uh, a few performance upgrades, updates. Um, the physics engine should be improved. It should be less forgiving uh, when colliding with uh, foliage, foliage, trees and such. Hmm, I'm not sure, but I have flown it. It is more realistic, a little. Uh, I already liked the previous version, it's better. But the major update, and I'll uh, switch to a uh, uh, screen recording right now. There we go, we're in the new FPV Freerider recharged. And on first glance, not a lot of changed. Uh, these are all maps that we know from the previous version. However, this custom levels, yeah, that's new. So if I click on that, uh, you see that you can load maps. There are free, free maps uh, supplied with the new version. However, uh, yeah, this looks like, um, I'm not sure, will they be releasing uh, extra maps themselves or will there be an editor? At this point I haven't come across an editor but uh, well maybe they'll make that available. Um, okay let me show you the first one. Bando. Okay and play. Now as you can see we've got this uh, building over here And we can obviously fly through it. There, uh, in all kinds of directions. That works just fine. Some trees. You can also fly in between slash through. Hey. What the hell? Yeah, th this is something that has happened to me quite a lot. That I run into things that I didn't really see. In other words, that I didn't see a reason for the crash. Uh, maybe I need to get to, uh, get to know the map a bit more, probably. Okay, my biggest gripe about the new maps is this. Here we've got a lower tree and let me try and fly through it. There! I should definitely have been able to fly through that, that hole. Let's try it again. Uh, this is definitely not pilot error. I'm flying into nothing really here. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't appreciate. Oops. Okay, that was <laughs> pilot error. Narrating and flying at the same time, right? Uh, I definitely appreciate the new maps. Always nice to get new maps. Um, I'm not sure what the reason for not being able to fly through tight quarters is. There are a few more over here, there. Again, I'm flying into nothing really. Um, I think it's basically a design error on the map themselves, not of the program. Okay, that's one of the new maps. Let's try another one, load. Park, yeah, this second one is definitely a racer's map. Now I am not a racer at all. Uh, this is a uh, ga gates hunting uh, map. 
and yeah that's not something I typically enjoy especially not <laughs> okay I don't know the map at all yet either but this is not my forte occasionally I do run gates in real life but I'm a free freestyle pilot okay and you can probably do timed trials here play I haven't tried that timed race yeah okay you can And um, this is a uh, cool part of Free Rider, I think. Um, what I occasionally do is just uh, try to improve my own lap times. Okay, that's one of the maps. And the third one, um, the lake. Uh, I. Oh, Initially I thought this was a racing map as well as there's not a whole lot to do for a for a freestyle pilot There are some trees and such but that's it Again we've got the problem dead problem Tight quarters, tight spaces in between trees, you, you can't really punch through. And in real life I should definitely have been able to punch that hole. This bigger hole, no problem of course. Smaller hole, no. Um, okay, but, um, timed race, oh yeah, it does have a timed race, okay. I haven't tried this one at all. Uh, where's my next checkpoint? Oh, there. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's a, there is indeed a, a timed race. A board race. Okay, so that's nice. You can do timed races in this map as well. And yeah, it does fly a little smoother, this uh, new version. Yeah, let me fly a, a map that I know. Um, I get a little bit more hang time with the exact same settings as I had in the previous version. Everything is a little smoother. And I flew the, the old version yesterday, so I definitely know what that one feels like. This one is a little smoother little more hang time yeah okay so yeah that's about it um, let me see yeah there's one thing they should address uh, I have never liked flying this car park the car park in this version because of this let me there's this reverb right which is appropriate however if you fly outdoors uh, I still have that reverb, uh, which makes this this map highly uh, unpleasurable, uh, if that's a word, to fly. I do not like flying this map simply because of that strange sound outdoors. Oh well, um, yeah, that's definitely something they should address because. If you if we go to this factory, you also have that reverb indoors. Come on, yeah, slow computer. Okay, reverb, yes. Now I'm outdoors and the reverb is gone. Indoors, reverb. Outdoors, no reverb. 
So uh, yeah, they should uh, definitely definitely have a look at the sound setup in that uh, car park uh, map thing. Other than that, the old maps are un unchanged, I think. Alright, again, short little video. Um, I'm not uh, affiliated uh, with uh, the producers of this uh, software. They uh, definitely don't even know I'm making this uh, video. But, uh, well, new version and um, it's still very, very uh, afford affordable, uh, this software. I paid, what, 15 euros for the recharged version and the old version. So, very affordable. And I think it's a, a very realistic simulator as well. Alright, if you have uh, questions, hit me up a comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.